Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Advanced Roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about teams in Jira Advanced Roadmap. So the core topic of this particular tutorial will be around the teams, how you can add teams, what are different kinds of team that are available in Jira Advanced Roadmap and how you can configure teams for the planning work within your portfolio. Okay, so for any long term planning, how you can utilize the team concept and create the team and assign the work accordingly. So let's get started. So let me create a new plan and I'll explain all of the details. So I'll say team demo. I'll keep the access as open and in the board, I'll choose one of the board. Okay, let's create this plan. So now if you see here to open the teams view, we simply have to go to this drop down the roadmap views and open teams, right? So at the moment, if you see there are no teams that have been added in this plan. Now what exactly are teams? So teams are nothing but just correlate them with the actual teams in your organization, right? So say, for example, you have the Android development capability wherein you have hundreds of Android developers, right? So you can have a shared sort of pool of resources and call them as an Android team, wherein you have all the Android capability people part of that team. Or you can even divide or segregate that big team into the small team. Say, for example, Android team is divided into multiple 10 different teams. So you can create 10 different teams in the plan. So there is a concept of shared team and the private team. So if you click on add team, you have the option to add an existing shared team. So what shared team is, it is basically a team that is there within the organization and can be shared across the different plans. So whatever plan you have, you are creating in this Jira roadmap, you can use or assign the work to the shared team if the team is shared or team is made as a shared team in Jira roadmap. Okay, a private team is private to this particular plan. So say, for example, I am doing this team demo plan, right? And if I create a team, which is say, for example, iOS team, and I'll choose the board, choose one of the member. So this team, if you see, this is only, uh, this is plan only team. That means this team will be available only for this particular plan. So for the planning purpose, this team is only available for this particular plan. So that's what the plan only team is. But if we have the shared team, then we can basically, so these are some of the shared teams that have been added, that I have added previously. So these shared teams can be reused or used in any of the plans that you make here in the Jira advanced roadmap. So say, for example, I go to the team demo and I want to utilize the shared team. So I'll go to the team section and here I'll click on add team and I'll say add an existing shared team. And now I can use or add the shared team to this particular plan, right? So you can see Android team is a shared team and can be used in this plan. Now, why these teams are made available in the planning? Because any work, any high level work that you do as part of your project goes to the team people within the team achieve that work so it is a direct correlation of the actual teams in the planning tool that is provided as part of the Jira roadmap. So you can basically correlate if say, for example, you have a big shared team and that team is an Android team and that team takes all the tasks that need to be taken for the Android application development, then you as part of the planning within your portfolio, say for example, in your portfolio, there is a need to develop an Android app as well for the, the work that you are doing, then you can assign the related work that is Android team that Android team needs to take and, and basically assign the work to the Android team. And that will be a shared team. And later that work can be divided within the Android team members when the granular planning starts or the sprint level planning starts. So that's the whole concept, right? And uh, in terms of plan only team, you add the team which is specific to the plan and you do not have, you know, so, a sort of a shared team in that particular case, then you can just specify that this is only specific to this plan for which we'll be assigning the work item for uh, the team which is only working on this plan. Okay, so this is plan only team. So this is how you will add 
add the share team and the plan team right so adding is pretty simple click on add team you can either add an existing share team or create a private team and then create a team for that plan okay now to add a share team you have to basically say for example there is another team that i want to add so click on manage share team it will take you to the share team location where you will have option to create a share team if you click on this create team right so i'll say shared team and click on create you will see a shared team got created right and if i expand this i can add the persons in the shared team from here okay so that's how you will share you create a shared team now to delete a shared team you simply click on this cross and click on delete to delete the shared team from this particular interface if you have to use this shared team into your plan you have to go to the plan as i have explained go to the teams view after that so go to this view and add team and select the shared team that you want to add to this particular plan and click on add shared team now there is another option which says if you can convert plan only team to a shared team right there should be a possibility okay so usually when you click on these ellipses you will get an option to convert this team plan only team to a share team as well but there will be a share option that is available but this option will only be visible once you review the changes right so at the moment say for example at the moment you won't see that right if i review all the changes and save the changes then in that case now if you go to this plan only team you will get this share option okay click on share and then simply click on share and you'll see now this team is a shared team now so this ios team should be part of the share team again if i go to manage share team i should be having this ios team there are two right so this one only has one people this is what we have just shared made it from plan only to share team okay let's go back to the plan go to the team right so in order to delete the team from here from the plan simply click on the ellipses click on delete right and the team will get deleted to edit the team simply click on edit and you can edit the associated issue source for that team the team type whether it's scrum or kanban velocity of the team and the iteration length and the members you can edit all of that from this screen and save it okay now what exactly the team is so say for example you added all of the teams in the plan and you have planned all your work so what jira internally does as part of the review changes so when i click on this review changes and save the selected changes in jira it tags these changes or tags these teams to the jira issues okay so say for example if i go to the top level planning okay so if i assign a team right so let's say for this one for this portal registration issue issues you see this is external team ios team let me remove it and let's assign a shared team okay so you will see that these two issues eight and nine so one is the task and second one is story i have assigned a shared team in the plan let's review the changes and save the changes in jira so what exactly this does is once you review and save the changes in jira these teams are added as sort of a tag you can say a label or a tag to the issues okay so if you go to the filter and go to advanced issue search and search by the shared team okay so say for example here i say I can search by team so you'll see that as I start typing team so team will appear just select that and say equal to and I'll say shared team right so click on shared team and search it will select a number and you will see both eight and nine will appear right and you will see that team has been tagged to these issues so that's what happens when you plan your work in the jira advanced roadmap and then save it back review the changes and save it back and now the team will be associated to those issues you can filter those issues and then basically assign these issues now so you can basically open and assign these to the relevant people within these teams so say for example this is android related task that needs to go to someone within the android team you can now in the sprint planning or the granular planning you can assign these work items to the member of those teams okay so this is what happens when you save the review and save the changes into jira now if you go to this particular issue details you won't be having or you the teams field won't appear right so in order to have this teams field visible you have to add that teams field 
field here in the issue details okay so i'll cover that this is more of a jira administration task but not tricky pretty simple let me cover that so say for example because we know that this is the custom field so you need to go to the so teams is a custom field so in order to add that teams into the issue view you need to go to the administration and you have to be jira administrator for that go to the cogwheel go to the issues and go to the custom fields so in the fields you will have this custom fields and search for teams so you'll see that team is there okay and at the moment i added it in one screen so that is why it is showing as one screen but in order to add this field into a screen you have to basically go and associate this two screens okay so i'll say associate to screen and then select the screens where you want this particular field to be visible okay so at the moment this is scrum default issue screen where this is visible i'll uncheck that and let's check all of it so all of the screens will have it and click on update and now if i go to the filter and say for example what was the let's search by team and the team that we added was the shared team for the demo purpose and now for the issues so now if i go to this particular story the teams should be available right so this team is now available this field is here and you can see the shared team whatever team you will select from the jira advanced roadmap plan will be available here okay now this last bit that i have done is the jira administration you need jira administration access to do these changes to add these fields into the screens so you have to make sure if say for example you do not get the option to select the issues and do the configurations first thing you need to talk Talk to your Jira administration administrator and ensure that you have the relevant access. Okay, so that's all uh, pretty much about the teams and managing teams in Jira Advanced Roadmap. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.